If we had an over under on how much broken furniture was in the Schultz house, oh my up, God. it'd be it'd yeah. be up there. That number would be up there. Are you talking about like dollars worth? <laughs> I, I'm talking actual pieces of furniture okay. broken. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a rough one. Yeah. Flipping off them, breaking them. Okay. Um, okay, I had a question for you. Uh, totally kind of off the subject there, but I know we were talking earlier. I was talking with Mike, and we're talking about you know. Um, in the Olympic caliber, you get up to the, the highest of the worlds and all that. It seems like a lot of the, like the Muslim type countries and Russian and, and those things, like they seem to fare very well. And me and Mike were talking about it. And I thought theorized maybe it had to do with the fact that in America, we, we do like high school folk style and collegiate for a long time and then try and transfer over. What do you think is the reason for their like dominance a lot of times? You mean the, like Russia and Iran and those two countries? Yeah, yeah, they tend more? to do. Yeah, they do really well. Is it just because we practice in a different way for so long? Or are they just different? You know what I mean? No, they have an incredible uh, amount of respect for wrestlers in those countries. They are treated like. I have a friend right here in Medford, Oregon. Matter of fact, I brought. Uh, he's Iranian, and I brought. Monsieur Barzagar to America, who's the, Iran's first world champion ever. Now he's living in the same city with me. And he, he, they just, when he won the world championships, they just gave him a copper mine, like here, have this. And he took the money he made from that and he bought commercial buildings, apartment complexes, hotels, stadiums. Yeah. I mean, he owns a stadium. I mean, the, the amount, if I had that kind of incentive, I mean, I probably could have wrestled another five years. I might have won two or three more world titles, but we didn't have any of that. There was no support for us. And it's so hard. You have to sacrifice everything to spend all your time training. Do you think for in sure. the case of like, you know, now we have the Russian, the Soviet Union breaking up to like Russia, Ukraine, you know, the Kazakhs, Georgians, they all wrestle. Do you think they're still strong because of the old Russian system too? That does that does that system impress you from you know way back when? Yeah, I mean that tradition of treating wrestlers like I mean, look at the people in the government over there, they're wrestlers. The tradition of treating wrestlers like really very high status, like almost gods, is is not going away just because the country broke up politically. The culture is still there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you just think sense. it's just like the the mindset and like the community understanding of what wrestling is. Yeah, it's not technique. It's not style. It's the understanding by the community. Because like over here in America, you know, you know, wrestling, it's really hard to appreciate it if you not unless you've done it, unless you've gone through it, you've learned the techniques, you've trained in, to understand how hard it is. You, over there, they, uh, they know and they respect that. The culture. And, 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 I mean, it, the, difference, the difference is you, Mark should be a national hero. Like, I mean, that's, yeah. that's the kind of thing the Olympic champions over there are. And Mark, you know, Obviously, to us, I, he's a hero of mine, but I don't know that that fame extends itself in our country. I think that's a little bit of it, no? I mean, look who we're making heroes. Mark yeah. Zuckerberg. Oh, uh, Hogan. <laughs> they yeah, some ba some players. basketball players. There's a lot of jealousy, especially now. Well, now because the UFC is exposed, how good wrestling is as a martial art wrestlers are getting a lot more status and attention than they used to but it used to be when i was competing it was like he wrestled in some basement you know and no no funding and it's just yep. you and a couple of your friends down there trying to and then you just had to raise money to go travel to the state championship or something i mean it was very difficult it's just check out the full interview on itunes spotify and all major podcast platforms